How's it going everybody? Welcome to my first video in my C Sharp programming series here. Today we are going to be looking at Windows Forms applications. Um, a Windows Form application is a program that executes within a Windows operating system and it typically has a graphical user interface or a GUI for short which is the visual part of the program with which the user interacts such as buttons, um, the, the exit button, so on and so forth. So what you're going to want to do to create your first project, um, you want to go ahead and click Create. Um, for me, I'm not using C++, I'm using Visual C Sharp, and you'll see a multitude of options here. You're going to want to click on the Windows Form application. Um, the WPF, or Windows Presentation Foundation, I will be covering later on in the series as well as console applications which take a more coded approach but for now go ahead and um, click on the Windows Form application and give it whatever kind of name you want. Um, I already I already did that here so we're gonna go ahead and um, open it up and you'll see the default form here and you'll see it generates some uh, random code for you. Um, well it's not really random it's a start, starter code that will enable the application to run to where if we ran it, you'll just be presented with the form. We can't really do anything with that form. So um, we're going to be covering um, a couple of basic tools here. I've pinned my toolbox to my sidebar. Um, also the properties menu, <clears throat> which you can do with where was the properties right here. Um, we're going to be working with a label and a picture box today. A label typically contains descriptive text and a picture box will display an image, whatever image you decide to load in there. There are um, numerous available options as you can see here and you can mouse over anything and it will give you a little tool tip on what the, uh, excuse me, what the button does. <clears throat> anything I will be using I will be covering um, in a little bit of uh, detail here. So what, what you want to do basically um, let's say we want to change the name of our form here. So you want to click on form, make sure it's it's kind of highlighted and then it will bring up the properties uh, down here and then the text will be here and whoops And where is it? The name. Oh wait, I didn't want to create a level. Where, where did that come from? Okay, just go ahead and highlight that and delete it. I wanted the form. There we go. Okay, so now you can see we're in form one here. Um, what I'm going to do is change the name of form one to, oh, let's just say window one. Click out of it. And then we can change the where is it? You gotta look for it here. There's quite a few options. Um, text, that's what we want. We can also put that to window one. And you click out of it, and as you can see, we the name here is now window one. And we can resize that if we want and make it, you know, whatever kind of shape we would like. <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing is basically adding a label and adding some um, some text here. So let's go ahead let me check my notes here see what, what's going on. Okay we've done that, we've covered that, we've covered the properties. Okay. Let me see here. Okay let's go ahead, um, I want to go over the back color real quick say we want to change the back color. We can go ahead use a custom web or system. I like to go with a custom here and let's make it a nice good looking blue and then <clears throat> the and as you, as you saw I, the, the uh, back color did come up with a couple of options. Um, custom is a lot 
a lot more um, available color and then there's web and system as well um, then we're going to want to take a label control out of here so just go ahead and drag and drop it onto our form as you can see it says label one and let's make this center it and make that a little now notice that label one's back color is the same as the form background color when a control is added to the form its back color property is set to the form's back color so we want to make sure label is highlighted and let's go ahead and change its color to let's go with the red okay um, now we can change the appearance of label um, the text property determines the text that the label will display so we'll just go ahead and find our text property and we'll go ahead and type in hello world as you can see it says hello world <clears throat> now we want to basically the auto size property here if you look in label whoops find auto size auto size where is auto size right here by default it's set to true which allows the label to update its size to fit all of the text necessary set the auto size property to false if you want to resize it which is what we're going to do here okay make it a little bigger some more something like that okay and move the label to however you want to make it look however you want you can move it on top bottom I'm going to be putting my picture box down here now when the label is selected you can also center the labels control horizontally by selecting format center and form and horizontally but we're not going to, uh, I guess I could. Select format, center and form, horizontally. Now, then, then it'll be centered right there. Um, we can change the font size and to change the font type of the appearance of the labels text, we basically find our font property here which is font. I'm going to click on the little ellipse. And when the ellipse is clicked, a dialog provides additional values. So, and or basically in this case, the font dialog. Um, so for this, I'm going to be using the, uh, the UI symbol and we'll go regular in size we want that to be pretty big so we'll go 24 okay make that able to fit go to format again make it horizontal and there you have hello world we can resize the form if we need to to be a little smaller so it doesn't look so offset you can also align the um, the text property with the uh, text align. I have to find text align. Where was that at? Looking for text align. It gives you a couple of options. Um, basically prevents presents a little um, three by three square which tells you enables you to align it in a certain position like top left top right top middle center 
I'm not seeing that here. Come on, where are you at? Maybe because I wasn't in label one. <laughs> Text the line, there we are. Oops. And what we can do here, there we go. So we can top left, center it, you know, make, just make it look however you want it to look. And then we want to add a picture box to the form. So we go here, drag a picture box. Okay, we're going to want to, you can align it to the edge of the, of that. Stretch it out to where it matches. Shrink it down a little bit here. It's not wanting to work with me. There we go. Okay. So make a little t picture box there. And to insert an image into the picture box, you want to make sure it's highlighted and in the properties window locate the image property here click on the ellipse and basically you are able to import a picture so you want to click on the import button and I'm going to find my pictures which is just basic sample pictures here let's go with the tulips and click OK and now you notice how it's only displaying a portion of the picture we need to change the size mode property to stretch image which will scale the image to the size of the picture, picture box so we want to find our size mode Where is this? Apparently I cannot find my um, I thought it was under size. And it's not where is my I am having all kinds of trouble today. Oh, let's see. As you can see, if you don't really, really know the IDE, um, it could be very time-consuming. Um, I'm just, I, I've, I'm used to C Sharp, the programming aspect. Um, I'm not really used to um, developing a GUI here, um, so that's where my my problems are are coming in. Um, I could have sworn it was in size, and then. because I don't have an image, a way to... Let me see if I can stretch it out and make it at least bring some of it. Yeah, there we go. So we should be able to um, stretch the image and make it... Um, auto. Oh, there's our auto size. I can't believe I was... Okay. Now we need size mode. And it should be here. Uh, image, I don't want another image. I want to highlight that. And you find my size mode here. Size mode, there we go. Stretch image. Boom. All right. I was having a little bit of a difficulty with there. I was looking in the wrong spot. Behavior. So there we go. The, now we have our stretched image, which is stretched to fit inside the picture box. 
So we can go ahead and run this and as you can see we get a little nice little menu or a, a, a window to play around with. Later uh, I can show you how to make the whole thing adjust to when you want to scale it. Um, but we didn't do that today. So that's that's basically all I wanted to cover for today. Sorry I wasted so much time trying to find my options here. Um, but I just wanted to get you familiar with the, um, the Visual Studio IDE and how to create a basic window um, and stuff like that. So that's all we're going to cover for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you for my next video.